Welcome to Chicago Bears 360, keeping it a buck with Coach T. You know I roll in silence On the road to them Benjis I fill my teeth with diamonds I'm high as fuck in the sky You would've thought I'm pilot I'm from Chicago It get ugly Fill the streets with violence Life like chess Move to pieces You know I roll in silence Past, present, future We bear down What's up, everybody? This is Coach T with Chicago Bears 360. We're going to break down some of this Justin Fields tape from the uh, Tampa Bay game this past Sunday. This one hurt especially much because me and my father, 72-year-old father, was in the stands. And from the beginning of the game, we just had zero energy from warm-ups to the fourth quarter. Um, it seems like the team was zapped. Something was going on. It didn't seem normal. Uh, maybe they knew about the COVID stuff. But um, at the end of the day, you get paid to play. You got to go out there and play and perform, and they didn't. But we're going to take a look at some obvious stuff to me that they're not doing to help Justin out. Um, Pre-snap, um, to help reveal the coverages and put them in the know and instead of the guessing, right? So let's take a look at just some common stuff that I think they can do better to help Justin out. Let's take a little bit of this garbage off the screen. All right, we'll set this up. Let's look at, first of all, what the defense is doing um, in this case. You have a 11 personnel from the offense. Um, what we're looking at, 11 personnel, one tight end, one running back, right? But what I like to call ace left gun, right? Quarterbacks in the gun, ace left look. You got one tight end, one running back. That's what I call ace gun, right? But let's take a look at the defense, what they're doing to us in these looks. Right, we count the defense, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, there's eight people there, only 11 people on the side of the ball. So they have to be in a single high coverage back here, corners off, and they are also at about 10 yards depth. The cornerbacks are at 10 yards depth, right? What does that let me know? Single high safety, the cornerbacks are at 10 yards depth, playing off, right? That's kind of revealing to me that these guys are in cover three, right? That corner has that third, the safety has middle third, this guy out here has the outer third, cover three. They're moving an additional dot body right here down into the box, right, to both play pass and run. He has this guy, but also he's here for run support in case we hand it off to Khalil anywhere up in the box, right? So we got eight men in the box. We got to take advantage of all, you should be taking advantage of all the real estate back here, right? Against this coverage, right? But let's look what we actually did once we look at the play. But how can they help Justin out pre-snap? They don't have to line up in particular looks in this ace gun look. You can motion to that look. So start A-Rob out over here, motion him to where he's going to go. What is that going to do for Justin? If this cornerback, if, if A-Rob starts out over here, this cornerback more than likely is going to, this corner is going to actually start, this cornerback is actually going to start out over here with him. If that cornerback goes with him, then you know he's in some kind of man coverage. So this could be cover one or it could be cover three. If he goes with and trails A-Rob, you know he's in cover one. If he stays in one position, and doesn't respond to the motion, you know for a fact it's cover three. So that gives Justin a piece of information to work with. Now he knows based off of the route concept that they called in the play, what he probably should and could go to before the snap of the ball, right? So that just gave away a lot of information. The motion, so you already reading, he's already looking up top to see how many safeties are back here. Single high safety, right? And then you add the motion to the equation, right? Put them over here and motion them back across the formation to see if the nickel corner 
or a linebacker trails and goes with him, that lets you know if he does it, I'm in his zone. So single high safety, no response to the motion, cover three. Then you start thinking about what play I have called and what my reads are and who's actually probably gonna be open in that situation. The other thing that they do a lot is Justin goes on the first count, and this is strictly on Justin. He goes on the first count, right? So they'll go uh, ace left gun, all curls on one or on go, right? Ace left gun, all curls on go, what I would call this actual play, right? So on one, that lets Sam Mustafer know to snap the ball on the first count. and. The reason why you can't go on one all the time is you can't, you want as much information as possible um, pre-snap. So why not Justin go on two or go on three, right? And then he could keep an eye on these guys, right? How does the snap count affect those guys? Because in this case, Todd Bowles likes to blitz a lot, right? So if you go on two or go on three, say hut, hut, hard count, that'll let you know because these guys are gonna start creeping towards or moving away from the line of scrimmage if they're blitzing, right? Same thing with the defensive line. In the case with Todd Bowles, he's moved, he likes to move defensive linemen as well. So you'll know which guys are coming, and particularly if this standing guy, if he's dropping off of the line of scrimmage, right? That helps Justin with his blitz pickup, right? On my next uh, tape, we'll actually take a look at the actual play and see how we performed against this play. Past, present, future. We bear down.